Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it's the end of the month which means it's time for the show us your sheet load and happy mail feature here on my channel. I hope you'll stick around and see all of the awesome cards I got sent this month. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share with you what has came in my P.O. box for the month. This used to be a strictly show us your sheet load feature, but then I started getting cards just for fun or just because. So today you'll see some sheet load inspired cards and then just some other cards that I either got given or sent to me. If you ever want to send in a card or share a sheet load with us, I do have a video linked in the description box below that gives all of the guidelines on how you can show us your sheet load. You can do a YouTube video, you can do an Instagram post, or you can mail it in. Once you're done with the video today, I would love it if you would go check out the playlist I have linked below of May cards. And then I also have the search linked below for May cards over on Instagram, so you can go see how, what subscribers posted there. This past month, I was so blessed. I don't think I've ever gotten in so many envelopes. I love it when I go there every Friday and I love just seeing one letter. And this month, sometimes there were four or five at a time. So I'm just so thrilled to see what's in here and share it with you. Now, because there are so many envelopes today, I'm gonna do this a little bit different than usual. Normally on screen, you would see me open the envelope and take everything out. But what I'm gonna do is kind of do that off screen and then I'm gonna show you a picture of the cards, let you know who sent them, talk about them a little bit, just while I show you close-ups of the card or cards that they sent. If you like this new format when you're done watching, let me know below or give me a thumbs up to let me know you like it. Let's go ahead and see what they sent in. The first two cards today are from my friend, Danny. She is my friend who I do the four on Fridays with when we do those each month. And she is part of my sheet load of cards collaboration team. She made these two cards for my daughter and I when we got our brand new kittens. You might have already seen the pictures on my community page or in one of my videos, but Danny is always so thoughtful when things happen in your life or there's an occasion where she can give a card, she always does. I wish I was as good as actually giving out my cards I make as Danny is. Thank you, Danny. The next card is from my sister, Lisa, and she has used the May 2020 sheet load of cards for her card. She turned the sketch on its side and instead of having a circle focal point, she stamped and die cut that bicycle. I just love that and I love that hello die. Thanks, Lisa. Christina M. sent me the next three cards. From left to right, it's the April 2020 sheet load of cards, the October 29 sheet load of cards, and May 2020 sheet load of cards. And the one in the center where she used October, not only did she paper piece or kind of put scrappy strips together for that center, but it was also a fun fold month. So you'll see here when I open it, what it looks like on the inside. Thanks so much, Christina. This next card is from Helen W. of Canada, and can I just let everybody know that my daughter gets super excited when she sees a card come into my P.O. box with a foreign address. So thanks to everybody who sends in a card anyway, but extra thanks if you're sending it from overseas, you're also giving my daughter a little smile. Helen wrote me a very nice note. This was actually the first time that she has made a sheet load of cards, but she gave 200 cards to her local long-term care center. That is super awesome. And she also said that her nine-year-old granddaughter wants to start putting cards together and that they may start with a sheet load. Sheet loads would be great for new or young crafters. Not only did the nice note come on the inside of the card, but I just love the sentiment that Helen stamped on the inside of her card this month. 
The next two cards are from Naomi H. of Minnesota, and she has used a May 2020 sheet load of cards for both of these. If you watch these videos each month, you might recognize her from the card on the right here. She is always sending in samples of cards that she sends into Cards for Soldiers. And then on the left, I thought this was so fun, live every week like it's Shark Week. I don't know what that means, but I think it's hilarious. Thanks Naomi for sending your cards in. Next up is a card from Marjorie B of Wisconsin, and it is just beautiful. You might be able to see in the close-up that the pattern or the brighter colored papers are actually bird feathers. So pretty. Marjorie wrote me a super nice note in her card, and thank you Marjorie for all of the kind words about my videos and my channels. I'm so happy that you decided to give Sheetload a try and send me in a card. Thanks Marjorie. These five cards came from Anita T in Canada and they are just beautiful. She used different sheet loads of card sketches and measurements, but they all go together because they all use the same papers and embellishments. Thank you so much for these gorgeous cards, Anita. I just wanted to stop here for a minute to let you know something extra about these cards. These came in at the very beginning of this month and I did open it up at the time to make sure that they didn't want to be entered in my giveaway from last month. And I absolutely fell in love with these little embellishments here. It's like a gold frame and then on the inside it's clear and there's glitter. And I just had to know where those came from. I was able to track them down and they're from Elizabeth Craft Designs. They're some of their peel off stickers. Originally I ordered them in silver and transparent when I meant to get gold and transparent, but I finally have them. They are so fun. And if you would like some of these for yourself, make sure to watch my new sheet load of cards videos that are coming up shortly. I'm going to be giving um, two subscribers each half a sheet of the gold and half the sheet of the silver. This next card also came from Anita and she has used what she said were leftover scraps from a 6x6 paper pad to kind of follow the May 2020 sheet load of cards. I just love how each of the pieces is a different pattern or like that little you warm my heart focal point. And you can't really see it on camera, but the two striped pieces or the top left and the bottom right, they are actually popped off the card with some foam dots. I like that added dimension. Thanks again, Anita. These next two bright fun cards are from Linda H. of Maryland. She said that she made these for a rainbow themed card swap and she sent me a couple extras that she made. In the close ups here, you're going to see some glittery circles. So after having never seen embellishments like this before, I actually received cards using them from two completely different subscribers this month. I think that was definitely a sign that I needed to find them and buy them. And not only did Linda send me in those two beautiful cards, she also sent me some of the embellishments she used as well as some happy birthday stickers. She said her circle stickers are called Jewel Dazzles and they are from Hot Off The Press. If I can find them, I will link those in the description box below as well. Thank you so much, Linda. The next card is from Caressa of the Netherlands, and I am sorry if I totally butchered your name. My husband is actually Dutch, and I was going to ask him how to pronounce it, but he is not at home right now, so I hope you'll forgive me. So here's a random or fun fact that you guys might not already know about me, but I actually met my husband online in 1996 and he lived in the Netherlands and he moved here in 1999 to marry me. So if you've seen the show 90 Day Fiance, we had to go through that same process, but we had a lot less drama. But anyway, back to this beautiful card. I love the papers you have used and I did get your note about the international collaboration. And if you want to email me with more specifics on how you think that would work, it's something that I would definitely consider. Thank you so much for taking the time to send this card in. 
Next up, we have a card from Janet R. of Texas, and she has used lots of Stampin' Up! goodies to create this adorable card. I especially love how instead of having that circle for her sentiment or focal point, that she has used that heart. So cute. Thank you, Janet. This next card is from Sue R. of Wisconsin, and she used a variation on the March sheet load of cards to create her card. She just flipped it a little bit and used that tree instead of a sentiment or focal point. You might notice those cute little hearts on Sue's card. She actually sent me some for myself. Thank you so much, Sue. She is also the Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the past who sent me the little clear epoxy raindrops after I mentioned loving them in one of my paper pumpkin kits. Now, I also want to point out about the hearts that she was inspired to use those by, um, some of you might have this going on in your city or neighborhood where you put hearts in your window and then when you're out on your quarantine walk to get out of your house, you can look for hearts in windows of people. And she also let me know that you can color in those hearts if you want them colored. She used a red Sharpie on hers. This next card from Paula D of Florida, not only did it give me a smile, it also gave me a little chuckle. She said that this April sheet load of card was inspired by the recent toilet paper shortage. I just love the little image with the today stink sentiment and it is even on a wobble. So if you push on it, it kind of wobbles around. It's so much fun. And then on the inside, you might recognize this as the chocolate soft serve emoji. Thank you so much, Paula. I love this. This thinking of you card was created by Diane A of California and I have seen the pattern paper she has used in the past and I absolutely love them. I think it might be some Stampin' Up! papers. If you're a demonstrator, will you let me know below the name of this set? I just absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Diane, for taking the time to send in a card. This next card is from Charlotte B of Texas, and I just love the note she wrote inside, so I'm going to read it to you. It says, Hi, Alicia. I hope you are doing well. Just wanted to say that I really appreciate your content. As you can tell, my card making style is a little different than the one that you have, but I learn a lot from watching your stuff, and it's really cool that you share your ideas and creations. Have a great day, Charlotte B. Charlotte, that is one of the things I love about be this huge community we have online that even though we might have different styles that we can all usually find something to be inspired by from someone else speaking of inspired i do think that you created the beetle on the front yourself and maybe even painted this beautiful watercolor piece that you sent thank you so much for sharing this i absolutely love it Mary Lynn C. of Texas sent in this next card, and she has used the same pattern papers as the card we just saw from Diane. Again, I just love these. Her card has a friendship theme. The front says, friends make the good times better. And then on the inside, it says, and the hard times easier. I just love that whole sentiment together. And thank you for the note inside. I am luckily, knock on wood, staying healthy right now. And it's not so awful in my state. Um, and I hope that's the same where you live. Thank you so much, Mary Lynn. These next two cards are from Sandra D. of Michigan, and they both use the Bow Bunny Boulevard collection for the pattern papers, and you might recognize that focal point. She also used the Paper Tray Ink Doily Die Set that I use for my May cards. She said that I had inspired her to get those out after all these years. Thank you so much for sending these in. They are absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to make a card and send it in along with your notes and the few little surprises that I received. I really do appreciate it. I love getting to see each month what you create. If you enjoyed the video today, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.